Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Just when we thought this market wasn't going to go any lower until team of the season came closer, EA Sports drops a prime icon moment SBC at a good price and the market crashes even more. That was one of the biggest crashes yesterday and even currently the prices we're seeing right now. One of the biggest, I think, like 12 to 15 hour drops in the market that we have ever seen on this game incredible price drops across the whole entire game icon moments all the way down to you know your 100k special out of packs in forms special cards huge drops everywhere right and today you're and already you're seeing some of this stuff bounce back but i want to talk about where this market is headed even as we get closer to team of the season and why this sbc was the absolute masterclass play from ea sports to drop some of the prices that are on this market. EA actually timed this perfectly, and I tweeted earlier today, I tweeted this. Um, I said, Masterclass by EA, dropping a cheap Icon SBC repeatable before the biggest promo of the year, and after most people panic sold, so they already have their coins available to do the SBC. And I think that sums up what really happened today. I really, really think that, that sums up the market crash that you saw today because this prime icon SBC was released and it's repeatable. It's out for eight days, right? There's eight days remaining. Uh, and basically, if you if you do the math, this is going to end right before that April 23rd date when the team of the season either is going to be released or announced. So it coincides perfectly with a coin drain heading into team of the season. And this is a repeatable icon pack that we have not seen yet. We've seen the mid or prime pack repeatable, I believe. We've seen the mid pack repeatable, but we have not seen the prime pack repeatable. And of course, they released this SBC at a very at a very doable price of 451k. It was like 420,000 coins right away, 83, 85, 86 rated squads with all the fodder that people had in their clubs. After the 81 plus player pick was released during the foot player days promo that just ended earlier this week. And of course, people that have invested in fodder uh, because it was just going lower and lower and lower. And people were waiting for that icon upgrade to come out. Um, this is kind of the this is kind of the aftermath of what you see. The, the perfect storm, but so many people are doing this. 81% upvotes on this prime icon SBC. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy to see this amount of hype for a prime icon upgrade. Now is the market gonna go lower from here? No, I wanna show you some prices. I think we've seen some of the almost, these prices might not drop lower until we get farther into team of the season. Uh, now I took some losses today. I took some big time losses. I just sold this to La in 970. I sold my Bruno uh, Fernandez headliner today. I lost about three to 400,000 coins, a little bit more than that, almost 500K in total today. Um, but you know what? Since I cashed out on that stuff, I bought a lot of these cards that are low and we're going to make a lot of that back. Seriously, I think some of these cards I'm going to be making 60, 70K profit on. I got this at 400K flat. He's already back to 450. I got this at 500K flat. He was above 600K just recently. I got this at 399 for this dog leash who was 530K just yesterday. And he's still kind of low looking at his price on the market. So I think a lot of this market is going to bounce back. And I think we are going to make some profit on that stuff. But it sucks, right? A ton of people lost coins yesterday um, on this market. And a lot of these prices dropped exponential amounts. I mean, you had this Ben Yedder headliner card who was 970K because people were expecting him to get into team of the week. He was panic sold all the way down to 660K. He's back up 100,000 coins from where he was, but that's just a crazy insane drop off for one day, right? I mean, regardless of whether it was a card that got upgraded today, like this Bruno headliner did, or just some of the out of pack special cards, the drop offs were incredible. Um, this Rashford guy was down at 416K. Uh, if he's still in the low, low 400s, this is still inc incredibly cheap. Um, you know, if I see 400K for this, I'm probably going to buy it because look, you have one card to 450, a couple listings. Uh, in the 400s, and then boom, you're back up to 500k where this card was before. So I still think there are some deals out there on the market, and I think this stuff is going to rebound back. I do think it's going to rebound back because we have rewards and because we have those weekend league plus player picks, and we have a couple decent looking cards in the team of the week that people are going to grind for. So um, I do think that there is going to be some market demand to pull these cards back up, you know, out of the rubbish, I guess, or out of the depths that they were. Um, so that's why you're seeing cards rebound back already. Cause some stuff just got way, way, way too cheap today, um, on this game, but it was crazy in the moment when it was all dropping, basically free falling for two to three hours after the content drop, after this icon SBC was released. 
And then during the Champions League, and once the Champions League ended, a lot of the stuff kind of picked back up as people got back on the game. But of course, we do have those weekly plus player picks. So people are going to be looking to get Pulisic, St. Maximin, uh, Pogba for sure. And then of course, there's this uh, 90 pace Marusic center back card who is his base cards are right mid. He got a center back in form for Lazio with 90 pace. That has got people going crazy on this market because of course, uh, pace in this game is kind of king. So again, all these major, major price drops, I think with with the huge drop that we saw today, it was it was kind of a no-brainer for me that we saw these big drops in such a short amount of time that I was gonna get involved. And it even involved me selling some of my cards that I had bought previously in the day to get involved with some of those prices because I knew that it was just getting too cheap. Now let's take a look at some other, you know, common cards that people were panic selling yesterday and look at the rise back already. This Neymar was 255,000 coins all the way back to 280 to 90 on the market right now. Um, and Mbappe was down at like 360,000 coins. This guy was 425. He was 425k went all the way down to like 360, 370, and is now back up to 385. So you're seeing some of this market rebound, even some of the prime icons today. I know off the top of my head, uh, prime Kaka was down at almost 800K flat after being a million coins just a couple days ago. He's still 835, which is a little bit low, but this guy was just back up near 880, 890,000 coins. So prices are still low, right? You still are seeing the effects of the huge drop off from today. And I want to roll through some prices with you guys, but I really think you are going to see a lot of this stuff with weekend league rewards. You know, I think a decent amount of people are going to open their packs. Some people will save them during rewards because of course they'll be saving them for team of the season. But I also think some people will open them to try to go do more of these prime icon upgrades uh, that EA have released. So this Kent guy was down at like 380k. He rebounded back to 450. He's now at 425. Alwar was like in the mid to low 600s. He is back up. Tamori is about the same price. He's actually still pretty low. Atal is still um, is back up. He didn't drop as much. Um, Vardy was down at 610,000 coins. I think this Lucas is still pretty cheap. Ferland Mendy is still pretty cheap as well. 800K. Um, was this any lower than 800K during the massive panic today? He was 800. He went down to 799. So the fact that this is still around 800K just goes to show you that there are some deals still out there on this game for the taking. But this Inaki Williams was crazy, crazy low too. So the thing that I'm looking for in these cards that they've dropped off so much. Uh, and I'm looking for a rebound. See, look at this man, 280K down to 220 and now is back up to about 235, 240. Uh, so the, the thing that I'm looking for on a lot of these cards that there was panic selling is I'm looking for that huge drop on the day because I don't expect this Inaki Williams card this weekend to go back to, you know, 320K for what he was on the weekend. I'm, I'm just trying to expect, or I think it's more realistic to expect a rebound to maybe what they were or almost what they were before the crash yesterday. Because again, still a lot of people aren't going to buy that many cards. Um, some people are going to be sitting back and not buying anything because they know the team of the season is still coming soon. So they're going to wait, right? They're great. They're, they're going to wait. And they're not going to buy. This Regulon was down in the 170s today. I bought, I bought a Perea at 215. This Diada was at 190. Uh, so just scrolling through a lot of these promo teams, stuff got insanely, insanely cheap. This Smalling is still pretty low. And Babu is still pretty cheap. Uh, and one thing that I was doing too was I was looking through um, the icons. And I'll show you guys how I was doing this. I was going by version icons, base, and then sorting by price. And just kind of, you know, knowing these prices off the top of my head, scrolling down here and looking through a lot of these cards, Root Hullet was down in the low 500 today. Uh, this Essien, baby Essien, who's 486,000 coins right now, this guy was 380. Look at this drop off from 540,000 coins down to 390, 380, and is now back up 100K. So that's the kind of drop offs and some of the rebounds you've seen already on these cards. So if there are any cards that are still low, I think you will see them go a little bit higher today. Now, one thing I will say too is when people open their rewards today, um, they're going to be motivated to probably go out and do another Icon Prime SBC. I think there's going to be people today that open their rewards and they're going to go out and either finish an Icon upgrade um, or do another one because this isn't that expensive in all reality. If, you know, if you have some high rated cards in your team, you can do an 86 and 85 rated squad pretty easy. Now they all require inform, so that's uh, taking the inform market up a little bit. And fodder's rising too. It really is because this is repeatable and it has so much demand. And just like I mentioned, 
I think this has a little bit extra demand than normal because it is a cheap, right? 450,000 coins. A lot of people are saying, hey, I can get it done for 100, 150K with untradeables in my club. Okay, GG's. Uh, if you're doing it one time, maybe it's, it's worth a gamble for 150K. You could go for it. Um, but this is going to take a lot of coins off the market. It really is. And it's a perfectly timed uh, coin drain before team of the season because a lot of people had sold their teams already. And that's why you're seeing this stuff. Uh, have such a big market impact. Now, 83s are up. They were down at like 1.2 to 1.6K. They're up at almost 3,000 coins. I do expect fodder to drop a little bit at rewards. Uh, from, from its absolute lowest, a lot of this fodder is up a couple thousand coins per card. But for where the fodder has been trending for the last, you know, three, four, five days, it's really not up that much. But I think it's going to rise today on Thursday after rewards. Maybe on Friday, because we're not really thinking we're getting a promo this Friday based off of having the weekly plus objectives. Now, of course, we'll be on the lookout for a loading screen today if that were to happen. Um, but a lot of this stuff really isn't up like too much. It's up a little bit, right? I think today at rewards, you might see a bit of a dip. And then fodder is probably going to rise again after rewards because people are going to be looking to do that SBC. So if you want to trade with some fodder a little bit more, um, maybe get on some bids during rewards. But I do think you're going to see some of the market uh, go back up again. And also, fodder hasn't dropped today, right? You had 86s that went up and they peaked right here. You also had a lot of people that invested, right? A ton of people invested in fodder. And um, those people were all selling in the first couple hours today, right? You saw the initial peak. Then, of course, the people that were still trying to sell their fodder and get it out because then Icon SBC was out. Even though fodder didn't go up that much, a lot of people were selling today. I was encouraging people to hold and not to sell because I think this stuff is going to continue going higher into the weekend with this SBC being out for eight days and repeatable. And also, also one thing that we most often see when there's a repeatable icon upgrade is EA. I think every single time this year there's been a repeatable icon upgrade, they've also released the next tier higher of a one-time non-repeatable. So that Moments Icon SBC pack that we have had in the code for a while could be making an appearance. Maybe not today on Thursday, maybe tomorrow on Friday. At some point in the next couple of days, I feel like EA is going to release that SBC. I really do because that is something that has been a constant. Every time they've done that repeatable upgrade, there has been a the next tier higher non-repeatable out in the game as well. So if you have not done this yet and you're still waiting on your rewards or whatever, maybe you wait a little bit, right? Because Prime Icon moments are like the best cards that are in the game right now. And those are the ones that people really, really want. And by the way, these packs are so bad. Watch the video that I posted just before this. I'll link it below in the description. Uh, these, the, the packs were terrible. We opened like 15 to 20 of them on stream and we had four or five cards. I think four cards that were over 450, 500,000 coins, basically the SBC price in value. So there was not a W at all. Most of the cards we were getting were like Ian Wright, Michael Owen, and a lot of those cards that were under 200K. So that is the situation with some of those cards. Now, also today we have Europa League games. We have this IX card, of course, IX are playing Roma. So there's big time IX fans on the game today. Now I'm going to have to finish this card. I'm probably going to wait until I see my rewards from Division Rivals. I did not play Weekend League, but I'm hoping to pack a couple cards from Div Rivals rewards, which let me check my rank. I'm rank three, man. How close am I to rank two? Mm. Not close enough to rank two to make me want to grind it. That's for sure. So I'm hopefully going to be able to pack a couple cards from rewards so I can finish that David Neres SBC and uh, get that card in my club because that is a really, really good looking card. And it's a really cheap SBC, but it's going to get more expensive uh, if they keep, if fodder keeps going up with all the stuff going on on the market. So again, just to kind of go over what is happening today, crazy, crazy market movements. I wish I could show you guys all the price drops that happened today. We had, I mean, this is also just to put it in perspective. This is how hungry and how, I guess, starved people in FIFA were for an icon SBC. You had some of your most popular icon moments in the game, like Pele, 99 rated Pele moments card. Uh, this guy is usually extinct or has one card on the market. Look at this guy right now, man. He's got four cards on the market and there's 14.5 mil bin. First owner tradable on this one, second owner tradable on this one. There were like six or seven of them, of them up on the market during the peak panic selling. So people are panic selling their icon moments cards for 14, 15 million coins. Um, and, uh, in, you know, to do this SBC, which is unbelievable, right? It literally makes no sense. You look at some of these other top tier icon moments. A lot of these guys have dropped. 
um, you know, looking through some of these that I've been following their prices, a lot of these guys have really, really dropped off even today. Some of them have bounced back a little bit too, but crazy, crazy fluctuation. So the things that I do see happening on the market again today is some of your rare cards, some of your meta out of pack specials. I do expect them to rise back across the board. I talked about this Anthony. This Saka was down at 900K. He's back up to 966. There's still some deals out there, right? Look through the graphs, look at some of the cards and just kind of remember what kind of cards rise every single week for Thursday flipping. Uh, this Reese James was 400K flat. This Dest is still really low. Super Slide was down at 180. Kulusevsky was in the 240s. This Reina card was like, I think, 430K for this Geo Reina. This card is an insane flip. He's so rare. If you like fluctuation trading, this guy is like unbelievable. Yeah, down at 480. So I think he hit 430 for a hot second, though. I do remember seeing 430 on that card. But... um. Yeah, I, I think you're going to see the market uptick a little bit today. Now, if they release a Prime Icon Moments SBC at some point today, if it is today, then you could have some situations uh, and maybe some stuff dropping back down a little bit lower. But I think that weekend league demand is going to pull a lot of this stuff up and there's going to be more buying on this market for sure. So it's going to be an opportunity that if you bought stuff really low, this Bamba was 230K back up to 270. So there's a GG. Uh, this Bruno is still down at 950. So I guess... I sold mine at least around the right time because that's still kind of his price. Um, just scrolling through more of these teams, Freeze Mane is still incredibly low. Um, I mean, these these prices are nuts, man. These prices are insane. I was thinking we would see more of these prices like around the actual time frame of team of the season dropping. Wasn't this messy today like 660? A lot of the cards that were foot encore players that were in packs again, of course, re-released and then have gone out of packs again. This Messi went from 770 down to 646 and is now back up at 749. Wow. Crazy fluctuation there on that team of the group stage Messi. Virgil van Dyke record breaker was 330. He went down to like 280. I think he think he's still somewhere around like the yeah, 305 range. So he's still pretty low there. So there's still a lot of cards that are pretty cheap on the market. And I will I do think you will see a rebound on some of those cards people are trying to use for their weekend league teams. But just be wary that since this SBC is out. It is sucking coins off the market. It is make people's, it is making people's coin amounts go lower and all that good stuff because people are doing this SBC and thinking that they're gonna, they're gonna pack Pushkas or Best when in reality they're gonna be packing Rui Costa and um, Nesta is you know the kind of caliber cards you're most likely gonna be packing from this SBC. So this Lam was at 455 earlier today and if I saw this like an open bid. I might have to get interested in that 433 i'm going to add to the targets because that's really really cheap as well and i bought a sun today at 325 and it looks like he's still there wow that's crazy right that is insane that card is still really low so i still think there's deals out there to be had we're going to keep tabs on the market and i think you're going to see this stuff pick up a little bit i'd be very surprised if it doesn't move that much um, very 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 surprised so as long as you pick up rare cards out of pack stuff i think you'll be just fine and i think you'll be able to make some profit but also, if you lost coins, again, we talk about this all the time. If you lost coins today, you're just, you're in the boat with everybody else, right? It's going to happen sometimes. I was taking a risky move today and I um, was literally broke pre 6 p.m. because I bought special cards to flip. I still have these Van Dykes. I bought two Team of the Week Ben Yetters because I didn't think he was getting in Team of the Week. He didn't. But then this card dropped another 30K um, from where I bought him at. So, a lot of coins were lost today, right? And it's all about how you bounce back mentally and stuff like that. So I am choosing to stay as positive as possible. I was not very positive earlier on stream today um, when the SBC was first dropped. There's a lot of banter being thrown, thrown around uh, because I was really recommending for people not to do the SBC at all. So I still recommend not doing that SBC because again, think about if before you start doing this SBC, right? A, if there's an Icon Moments SBC released, you're going to probably wish you saved your fodder for that if you wanted to do either of these two. But also, we are literally two weeks away at the most from Team of the Season being released in this game. And uh, you're probably going to want to save your coins for upgrade packs, for the Team of the Season player SBCs that come out during the time frame. You're most likely going to get a better player from that than you are from doing this. So again, just realizing why the EA is putting out this SBC at the time that they are should really help you with your economy monitoring and club decision-making involvement with the content, uh, using some of EA's words there uh, to explain to you maybe some thought processes that you would be thinking through before doing an SBC. So 
Hopefully that does help. But again, insane market movements right now. It is one of the craziest weeks on the market. It happens around this time of the year, but that prime icon SBC today is definitely going to be something that I don't forget for a long time since I lost a lot of coins. Now, hey, the positive thing is we're still in the positive on the TP for the week, right? This is kind of like the the barometer I'm using for my account right now is that I'm still positive in TP for the week. We were up at about 500,000 transfer profit in total, <laughs> even though it's been a rough week and we've lost coins. Otherwise, now we're down to 152, but I'm stoked to get this probably up to a million coins this weekend because we're going to go hard again and I'm motivated to make it back, right? So if you guys want to come along with the ride, we're going to make it back this weekend. Even though the market's all over the place, there's going to be great opportunities for flips. So that's the video for video from me today, boys. If you did enjoy it, drop a like. And of course, comment down below if you have any questions or tell me how many coins you lost today. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.